Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to contribute uh, to this motion. Mr. Speaker, I want to start by thanking the Committee of Powers and Privilege for having taken the time to uh, listen to the various witnesses who appeared before them and uh, produce this report which they have brought to this House for discussion. But Mr. Speaker, uh, this particular motion calls for the adoption of the report of the committee um, on the conduct of one of us, who is uh, Senator Gloria Orioba and establish if the conduct constituted a breach of parliamentary privilege. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, allow me to point out a few things uh, about our conduct as honorable members. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are called honorable members because we are supposed to conduct ourselves in a honorable manner. Uh, and. Uh, when we get to a situation where we have to question the conduct of one of us, uh, I think it's important because it strengthens this Senate even more. Um, we have witnessed uh, instances in this House where some of us get worried that uh, maybe this House of Senate is uh, is um, uh, uh, retarding in terms of uh, uh, being a house of honor. Uh, if you can remember, Mr. Speaker, the first house uh, where my uh, senior, Boni Halwale, sat, we had very senior personalities sitting in this house. We had uh, people like James Orengo, we had Kiraitu Murungi, we had Boni Haluale and others. And even the last uh, Senate, again, uh, save for a few uh, senators, uh, we also had a very, very strong Senate. I think we need to look back to those days uh, so that we align our conduct to the conduct of uh, those two senates that were there before us. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, this is a house of rules. This is a house of tradition. This is a house of norms. And all this is meant to make us work in an organized manner where we respect each other. Mr. Speaker, when I was uh, growing up, uh, when I was a student uh, at the university, I was one of the frequent visitors in the public gallery. And uh, those days when multi-party had just started, uh, one would imagine that these guys, if they meet in the chambers, they will fight each other or they will do something uh, out of this world. But th these members carried themselves with decorum. You can imagine a house that had uh, uh, Kenneth Matiba, a house that had uh, Jaramogi Odinga, uh, Raila Odinga, Mwai Kibaki, uh, even uh, former President Moi, Paul Muite, people who have very serious divergent views on matters of national importance. But when they came to the House, Mr. Speaker, they conducted themselves with the decorum, they followed the rules, and they respected each other. But we are beginning to see that scenario is quickly, quickly disappearing from uh, our houses. And uh, it should be uh, a, a serious concern. It should be very serious concern. Mr. Speaker, this particular member, I happen 
to have sat in the same committee with this member. And this member sponsored a bill on Konza Metropolis, uh, Technopolis bill. And the committee tried its best. We gave our input. We had some reservations on a number of things. But this particular senator mistreated the members of the committee. At one point, she came to this floor and said that the committee is trying to kill her bill. And yet, the bill was listed on the order paper. Mr. Speaker, I was not given an opportunity to appear before the Powers and Privilege Committee because I am among the members she accused of trying to kill the bill. And the only reason, Mr. Speaker, in the ICT committee, that the committee had a divergent view, was that the Ministry of ICT had the same bill, which was more comprehensive. And then we said, why can't we marry the two and have a bill so that your bill is not, uh, does not appear like uh, it is trying to compete with the, with the, the, the ministry bill. But that alone unders that kind of disrespect from this Senate. Mr. Speaker, I am among the members who rejected this bill on this floor. Largely because of that reason. That that bill, one, it was insufficiently addressing the issues of how to manage uh, technopolis in this country. Number two, the ministry uh, of ICT was in the process of uh, processing a similar bill. So when it came here, I rejected that bill for that good reason. But this senator went on social media and labeled us as a community that is trying to fight her. Because my good senator neighbor Halwale opposed it. My good senator for Bungoma Wakoli opposed it. Just because we share the same tribe, she went and blackmailed us on social media that we voted against the bill because we are lawyers. I voted against the bill, Mr. Speaker, because of the reasons I've stated. Mr. Speaker, we have also seen the kind of decorum that this senator has subjected our good clerk, Nyegenye, to. Nyegenye is one of the long-serving employees of parliament, Mr. Speaker. And I served in the National Assembly. And I worked very closely with Nyegenye. I know he's a very professional employee, very respectful. But now this senator comes up with allegations against the clerk. And the clerk has no voice. The clerk is supposed to keep quiet. Nyegenye deserves respect. Nyegenye deserves justice. And the justice is for us to pass this motion. Mr. Speaker, I support this motion because we must stop this kind of decorum in this house. We must bring back the respect of this house. We must also protect the staffers of parliament. These are professionals. These are not people who are in politics like us that we subject them to social media. They have no avenue to defend themselves. And then you use the privileges of this house to come and fight these innocent staffers. I want to say that uh, I will stand firm to support this motion, even though some of us would be having alternative views. But even if you have alternative view, think about the Senate. Where are we heading to? For how long are we going to allow this kind of decorum in this house? And we have seen many other things in this Senate. Sometimes you sit here 
and you get shocked how some of our colleagues be behave. Mr. Speaker, I want to encourage members to support this motion so that it can serve as a lesson to those who want to do the same. Mr. Speaker, I served with you in the National Assembly. And we had similar cases. We had a case involving Babo Wino. There was no problem. We discussed it. And Babo Wino apologized to the House. And the matter ended there. We had a case on Didmas Baraza. The Honorable Member claimed that we were receiving money in the toilet, sugar money. And he could not prove it. And when he went to the Powers and Privilege Committee, they found out that he had a case to answer. The matter was discussed in the House, and the House agreed, and the Honorable Baraza apologized to the House. There is no problem in us discussing this senator. All we want to, from her is for her to come and apologize to the House, apologize to an innocent clerk that he blackmailed in social media, and we'll consider to accept the apology, and we move on. But we cannot stop discussing the conduct of a member just because we fear uh, some, uh, uh, some uh, issues. We will discuss, and I encourage members to discuss this motion soberly and pass it, so that we establish a, a precedent that members in this house will follow and will ensure that this Senate adheres to the established norms, cultures of parliament across the world. Mr. Speaker, I support. Senator Karen Nyamu. Um, Mr. Speaker, thank you for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this report tabled by the Committee of 